Welcome to Adventures with Rusty, where we talk everything camping, go caravanning with our trusty 2012 Echo Cavango, we do reviews of camping sites, and we also do product reviews. If you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about the Bellman Espresso Machine. This is a product which can be used on a stove top or gas uh, to make cappuccino and uh, I'll be giving a, a short review of this product. It's quite a straightforward product. It has a, a, a pressure top that allows the device to build up some water pressure. It has uh, a spout for generating your steam for frothing your milk and it also has a pressure gauge so you can see the best time to to release it for the pressure. So we had to import this from the UK. There's no distributor in South Africa. It's actually a product that's made in Taiwan. So it's kind of done a little bit of a around the world trip to get to us. Uh, and it can make up to six small shots of cappuccino. You can reverse the, the, the separator here at the top to change the size of the amount of coffee that you put into it. Obviously ground coffee in this case. Uh, and uh, it makes a really nice cup of coffee. So I'm going to show you how this operates and uh, give my review at the end. Thanks so much. Step number one is to put water into the Bellman. There are three graduations for three, six or nine cups. I'm going to use the three step position, which gives two decent sized cups of coffee. And step number two is to fill up some ground coffee. basket it's a little bit messy just tamp that down with a spoon make sure there's none on the edge because there is a seal there Drop that in there and tighten down the top. And the last step is to heat up the Bellman on the stove. I'm using gas in this case and to let the pressure build up. Once that's warmed up, it starts to build some pressure, release the coffee and enjoy. I'll come back when that reaches about two bar and show you that process. So up to pressure on the Bellman. So we're going to release this knob to get our coffee. Here's the first shot and the second shot. Close it up and let the pressure build a little bit so we can use the rest of the steam pressure for milk. Okay, so milk is nicely frothed. Got some good foam there, so you can turn off the, the nozzle, turn off the gas, and make some nice cappuccino. Enjoy.
So like any coffee machine, there's a need to clean it up afterwards. The, the Bellman is quite easy to clean. It's all high quality materials, so not really a problem. It's all stainless steel or this, uh, this hard plastic and there's some silicon rubber seals that are used just to keep the pressure. One thing I didn't mention is that this handle is removable. Just makes it a bit more compact for, for packing. And this handle also doubles up as the safety valve. So these little vents here are the safety valve, which exits from the inside of the of the Bellman, just in case there's an overpressure. So that's the main body. Nothing else comes off that. Just to show you how it assembles, there's a small little silicon seal that goes onto that rod. And then on the coffee receptacle, there's a small o-ring that just rolls down over the top of this which creates the pressure creates the seal for the pressure on the top then the lid itself is is quite nicely manufactured there's a tube here that runs down from the the lid to the points where the coffee will come out and that has just a, a sieve section that sits here with another o-ring it just presses in there and that just sits on top with your coffee separator and there we go all assembled ready again for the next cup of coffee so if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe. We do lots of product reviews and uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching.